afternoon guys uh, today is march 16 uh, time is 126 pm new york time and uh, Channel Allen is talking to senate regarding some regulations and uh, how to protect the financial assets uh, and the banking community basically protect the banking so that way they don't go bankrupt again and they don't have to bail them out all those things all the good things let's see all right guys trading is risky I don't suggest you uh, to trade basically if you do trade please consult your financial advisor or a broker whoever you take your advice from uh, this video is made for education purpose only how you can lose money and how you can make money every single day uh, I'm not a financial advisor or I'm not a broker so please whatever I say in this video is for it's my, just my opinion you know you don't have to take it uh, just to let you guys know that was just a disclaimer so yes I'm trading right now SPY uh, I want to trade SPY options that's what I do most of the time SPY these are the only suspects basically usual suspect you know these are the one I trade Tesla and all those things all the good things that's what I call it So it looks like uh, I'm going to buy some calls in Tesla. If I make my $500 today very quickly, I'm going to move out. I'm not going to wait till the market goes to the roof or something like that, no, which I do it every day, something like that, you know. My goal is to make $500 and get out of it. So good luck, guys. If you guys are trading, please subscribe uh, and hit the bell icon and uh, please uh, share this video to your friends and family who anybody wants to learn trading they should watch this this is a very good going to be a very good case study sixty dollars up right now and buying more it's all seventy dollars uh, they're not moving according to my to my things uh, the S&P is going up and the uh, stocks and the options are not going up then I don't like them most of the time so sold and up, up $150 let's just go and chop 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 the market very very quickly and let's move out because uh, the volume will gonna come anytime very very quickly so i have no idea when the volume gonna gonna come right now but you see that's the thing uh it just turned into a berry side because uh came down quickly so i'm just trying to see if it holds right over there otherwise i have to exit my position very quickly as well so there you go so i'm selling half of it right now and that's how i'm just losing i was up but right now i'm down i'm buying buying more buying more so yes trading is very very risky not i don't recommend to trade without doing some paper trading first and uh, if you know how to manage your risk you can make very good money uh just kind of holding right now and kind of losing 130 to like 100 dollars and that candle is about to close into the downside basically and which I don't like it right now I'm losing uh, so I'm buying more I'm buying, buying the dips right now god no buying the dips but it went down more so yes guys I'm losing $34 I was up $70 but I'm losing $34 so Let's just chop the market. Just check how we can do this today. One leg up, man. Come on, give me one leg up. I'm buying, I'm holding 65, 65 uh, call options right now, guys. 65 call options. Oh, yeah. 
I'm up eleven dollars. Okay, this one looking good to me. I'm gonna load up on this one right now. Sixty-five call options at a seventy dollar price. Come on, one leg up. One leg up. I'm gonna move out very quickly. Holding 85 call options for the dips. God, I'm losing uh, $370. I saw half of it where it came up so I'm loading again guys uh, trading is risky no shit it's kind of like moving to the opposite direction sometime uh, just someone just probably and the slide thing I don't like the slide and I slowly moving down it's like killing it's like a slow poison for everyone I'm buying the dips again guys god no guys I'm losing thousand dollars just like that, I lost thousand eight hundred dollars. <sighs> they sold it. Let's just check. Meta is looking good to me, but uh, let's just check. We can recover the money from here. Uh, this can turn into downside also very quickly, no doubt. Okay, guys, I want to buy Meta. Okay, I want to buy Meta at this time to recover my money because Meta is looking good to me. Sold up two hundred and eighty dollars. I'm going to load up on Meta right now, guys. I'm holding 100 options in Meta for 64 cents each, guys. I like to sell half of it.
itself because uh, let's just check something is coming down Meta is trying to show some strength so let's just hold up on Meta guys Sold. Just buying more of Meta right now. Meta doesn't have that much of volume guys so uh, it's not moving according to S&P and oh shit I sold half of it it's okay so this is very very critical level at this point and this can turn into a bearish or bullish very very quickly because uh, it's doesn't know exactly what the S&P is doing so far it's like turning to bearish side but uh, it's coming up at the same time so buying it more guys loading it up because it wants to go up up 
I was losing thousand five hundred six hundred something, but uh, made some money. Meta is showing some strength, guys. So no doubt about it. So I'm gonna load up again on it. The option is not moving that good, guys. So options are not moving that good on Meta. So let's just check. It's like a dog fight right over here, guys. But it looks like a bullish to me any anyway, so this kind of bullish thing right now holding 80 options I'm touching SMP is like going down guys I know so far it's like 17 minutes and I'm losing thousand dollars thousand five hundred dollars or six hundred dollars God Jesus Christ come on come up every time I'm touching SMP is like turning into a red sellers are stepping right in no doubt jumped out again so somebody just bought that lot of chunk basically so that tells me guess what that are buyers stepping in there you go somebody bought the chunk right over there but uh, I'm gonna hold SMP so far sold losing only five hundred and eighty dollars so far I have like 17 or 16 days like trading with no red day guys which is great so I want to keep today's also as a green and uh, remember, General Allen is talking today with the Senate, and uh, most traders won't even trade today because of that reason. You know, like uh, the volumes are a little bit low because of that reason too. So, because most traders they don't like to trade. More, only banks are one the one who are trading right now. Banks, I mean, like hedge fund and all the big guys, basically. Uh, so, because nobody likes to lose their money. And nobody wants to give that donation to the market. So, uh, when the Fed is talking or Janet Allen is talking, those are the big, uh, big uh, voice on the market. So yes, sold it and uh, came back up, guys. So just want to change the option.
sold and uh, yep it's kind of want to go up guys no doubt so I'm pretty much sure the buyers won't step in at this point sold I've been hitting the wrong key guys and I'm thinking why it has not been selling this candle is about to close so I'm buying the dip uh, this dip is not that good came up basically very nicely from $1,800 to like uh, losing a little bit now trading is risky guys I don't suggest anyone to trade until unless you know how to trade uh, so okay okay somebody somebody bought bought so somebody sold but they, the sellers are stepping in but guess what somebody was buying big time of it so I have load up very quickly. Sold up $222 guys. So this is how the trading is guys. So, so you down and then when you take action on it and if you know what you're doing, this is how it has been played this game. So. When I saw the mirror and it was not going down, that means guess what? Buyers were stepping in. Right now. Come on. Move one one leg up. God. Come on. Sold. Up $417, guys. Yes, this is how this game is being played. So to be very, very careful. At the same time, there's a lot of sellers right over there, no doubt about it. So this can turn into ugly uh, very, very fast too. But I'm buying the dips. I'm buying the dips. I'm buying the dips. God no 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 I've been holding 35 call option on SPY right now 35 call option on SPY uh no somebody sold it somebody sold it someone is selling it uh there's a secret seller right over there guys who is like waiting who's like waiting 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 mm. I'm down. Uh, I was up, guys, but guess what? There's a secret seller right over there. Uh, he's selling it secretly, but it looks like buyers are taking control on it. So he has to move out. Let's just wait. Let's just wait. Let's just wait. Let's just see other things. So far, I was down $1,800, guys, but now I'm up. Now I'm up. Let's just check Meta again. Yes. See? Somebody sold a big chunk of it. Uh, there was a hidden seller right over there, no doubt. Which killed me a little bit. I was up. So, yes. You see, he's, he sold it. He sold. You see, this is going down. Okay. Something just happened. Somebody sold it, but somebody bought it too. Somebody bought it too. So, I'm just going to buy it. I'm just going to buy it because somebody bought it. Somebody sold a big chunk of it and somebody just bought it. So I'm up $770, guys. There you go. You see, I, I saw this. Somebody sold a lot, but at the same time, it was not jumping down. It's not going down. So guess what really happened? Quickly, I took action and bought S&P and I'm up $77. There you go. This is how trading has been done, guys. You know, very, very quickly, very, very fast, you have to take the action. This is how it is. You cannot wait. You cannot think. You have to step in. You have to step in in your game. 
you need to understand somebody sold a big chunk no doubt about it you see this volume but at the same time somebody bought somebody somebody's buyers take control on it somebody bought a big chunk of it and there you go now it is going up but at this point guys i don't want to trade anymore i have traded almost for like 26 minutes so far and uh, i was down thousand eight hundred dollars and now i'm up seven hundred and seventy dollars which is great again uh if you go and check my videos all of them and you will able to see that i was uh ha was able to hold up uh, still today like a green green day uh i was losing money no doubt uh, anyone like any, any beginner will gonna will gonna have an emotion crack down and probably gonna walk out from this game at this moment when somebody would have lost lost like thousand eight hundred dollars no doubt about it but uh like I said, you know, like the mindset is very, very important. Discipline is very, very important. Then I saw, uh, I saw some opportunities jump into the uh, Meta and some Tesla and then some call option again on SPY and got back my uh, my money back and took some extra money from them. Basically, you know, like like I said, if you don't take, you, you, I don't want to give donation to the market again, you know, and I want to keep my green very, very green. And it will be like 17 or 18 days um, winning. So $770, which is not bad at all, which will going to cover up my uh, commissions and everything. And I'm going to consider it as just like 700, uh, not 700, like maybe just $500, you know? Yes, uh, that was the winning, winning gave me basically because dropped so hard because somebody sold it. Someone sold it right over here, no doubt about it. But at the same time, it dropped so hard. But bias just just took that sell basically. A lot of traders they just bought it at the shot. You see this guy's thousand, thousand, thousand. Someone is like selling at that moment in time, like thousands. So how many thousands? You won't even have idea. So only how we come to know because for like a million dollar share is been traded right over here. In that five minutes candlestick okay this is a five minutes and this is a minute so at that point someone is stepping in but like 50 200 you see almost like 200 was like bought right over there but but you guys I hope you guys understand how this thing you see this buyer 400 so those are the one who are like stepping in you need to watch that is this is this you see this guys green someone is buying it 1500 1500 1500 someone selling 1500 you see this so you see this guys 1000 1900 so this is how you need this is this is a mirror basically you watching your backside you know like how what is going on so when i saw like a thousand uh thousand like two thousand five thousand ten thousand uh order and that was what happened right, right over here somebody bought his dip and someone is holding is still holding it and they are buying more you see this guys again trading is risky guys no doubt if you know how to take control on it it'll be great you'll be doing great no doubt but this things uh, doesn't come in first day trading you saw how i lost thousand eight hundred dollars but it takes a lot of lot of time to practice and uh, and you need to be a little bit good on the keyboard but uh, that's what I can tell you. You need a good uh, computer, uh, good keyboard skills, basically, you know, and uh, and some eye, basically. You need to watch. You need to watch the time. You need to watch a lot of things. You need to watch this side, this side, five minute on the time as well. So this is how it is. All right, guys. I don't want to take too much, too long because anyway, I have already made my made my. Uh, five hundred dollar mark which is great and uh janet allen is still talking i don't know what he's saying because i'm not focusing on the news when i'm trading i don't want to listen to the news at all i don't listen to that uh, chatter box because they are the one who are working against you basically because they're working for the uh, i always believe that they work for the exchange because there are people who are like big banks and big hedge fund who are like uh, buying it behind the scene when these people are saying like oh there's a big sell-off but someone else is buying it and they're all big banks basically 
So when they talk about sell off, that means you will going to get panic and you will going to sell your things off. And, uh, and that's what happens basically. And then somebody bought it. And then next day, when you see the market moved out, this was a very good buy over here. I was just trying to point you guys and it just went up. See, but uh, right now you see this 1,400, 1,400, someone is selling it 1,400. So yes, again, uh, this is very, very important. There are like five, six, uh, there are probably like a 10 exchanges guys. If, whenever you click one time, you know, those 10 exchanges are the one who are filling your order in. And that's the reason we have all these numbers running up and down, up and down, not like within like a second, you know, like it goes up within like a second, it goes up, down, it goes down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Because every chain, uh, every exchange has a different, uh, 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 what do you call it, a volatility and uh, every exchange is filling up your order in a different price too, because whatever that exchange has that price at that time, you, it will going to get filled. So yes guys again uh thank you very much for sharing liking watching my video you know i really appreciate you guys uh for subscribing again you know please share this video to your friends and whoever wants to thinking about doing the trading you should watch my videos and then you'll come to know what kind of pressure you hold when because your money you are like attached to your money that's what i can tell you you are like literally attached to your money when the trade goes against you you don't know what to do you don't know what to do and uh, the only way you can trade this by keeping your emotion out of the game by keeping your emotion out of the game i say that again okay you can trade this kind of market by not holding emotion if you hold emotion and if you're scared you're not able to make it you need some really good uh, feeling out of the market. Like, you know, your feeling is like totally attached to your money. I know most people will going to lose. Uh, and 90% people, 90, 96% uh, people lose. And trading option, only 2% people makes money. Or maybe 1% people makes money. So if you want to trade option, you need to do a lot of practice on paper trading. Because once you do that, that is the time you will come to know where you're standing. So yes, for last 17 to 18 days, um, I was up, thank God, and I was able to make my money. So yes, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm just going to make a, uh, that's it. I'm just going to close this session and please, peace, stay safe, stay blessed, and don't forget to subscribe. All right, guys, bye.